What's up YouTube? Demi here with a super, super basic stripped down house tutorial guide, whatever you want to call it. I couldn't find a guide like this on YouTube or on the wiki when I was trying to get my house set up for the first time. Um, so the requirements for this is 50 construction, which you can train through many ways. I believe all I did was make like chairs for a while and then I made oak larders for a while. So let me, let me get in my house so I can show you basically. But once you get 50 construction, you have enough to make an altar so you can restore your prayer in your... Uh, in your, what, what is this even called? I'm sorry, in <laughs> your house. I was gonna say hideout, BUE. Um, but yeah, I just trained building these larders and chairs. That was it, right? So you get to 50, you can build an oak, or oak altar, which lets you restore your prayer. You can also set up these portal rooms and you can direct them to wherever you want. So the way I chose where I directed these to was the, I tried to figure out where I was going the most often for my own personal use. Right now I've been doing a decent amount of Slayer and like, you know, just basic training. So for my Slayer tasks, I always get sent to the Catacombs of Karend. I always get sent to um, Konar. Battlefront takes you to Konar. The Kareel thing takes you to the Slayer Tower. Like I just, I have the, my most frequently used one. So let me let me just run you through this. The Karend portal is just right outside of the Catacombs of Karend. This is the Catacombs. You just go in here and you're here. Like this is where a ton of Slayer tasks happen. Like almost, I would say probably a third of my Slayer tasks are somewhere down here. Usually it's like Dagonos or Ankus, or I just did an Abyssal Demons task. Like it's, it's, there's a lot of stuff here. These house teleport tabs cost like 500 GP. It's super convenient. So I would just finish a task, come here, go pray on my altar. And then I'll go to my next spot, which would be, the, usually I go back to Konar. So I take this Battlefront portal, which takes you just like Southwest or Southeast of Konar. So I just run northeast till I get to this little rampy thing and then I take the agility shortcut. If you have enough agility, if you don't have enough agility, then you just run up these little things. And Konar is like right up here. You can't see her yet. Konar, please. She's right there. Right, so that then I go get a new Slayer Tash. She usually tells me to go back to one of those places I was just at. So you just run back to your house. But yeah, this is like the most stripped down house I could ever possibly imagine. So it's just two portal rooms and an, and an altar room, which is like, you can, okay, let me show you how to get to this. You click the settings thing, you click the house, and then you can turn on building mode on and off. As you can see, I basically built none of this stuff because none of it matters. You need two beds for your, uh, your whatever butler person, and then you need like two portal rooms. So to build a new room, it's pretty easy. You just like right click a door and you hit build and then it'll let you choose what you want to make. So for me, I needed two bedrooms and I needed a, what's this called? I believe it's this one. The uh, call for quest trophies is this room, which allows you to mount a glory right here. So I have a glory mounted. So I can go to Edgeville, Karamja, Drainer Village, and Alcarid. And then I built two of these portal rooms, which let me get back to that menu. The portal rooms require level 50, if I remember right. Yeah. And they cost 100k coins, and the chapel costs 50k coins. But once you get those built, you get to choose where you direct these portals to. So each portal costs 100 times the uh, the normal like cost of teleporting there. So if you need to build a Varrock teleport, it'll cost you 100 laws, 300 airs, and 100 uh, fire runes, and some other like minor stuff that you can buy from the Grand Exchange. It's all super cheap, relatively. Um, and if you use it 100 times, you're paying for it. You're paying it off like i um i was buying ring of wealth constantly and teleporting the grand exchange so those portals were costing me like you know i don't know a thousand each something like that but i did this and now i can just go to the ge whenever i feel like it which is pretty great it just saves me a ton of time but yeah those, it's just it's super cheap to set up that's all you need to start out with it's just those couple things you need two portal rooms or one portal room honestly if you're only doing a few things and an altar. That's it. This is it. This is the most basic house I could come up with that has basically nothing in it except for teleports and an altar. So hopefully this helps people who've been really confused about this just like I am. I'll leave some guides in the description for how to, how to level construction, uh, how much this costs to do. I think the wiki has a sheet for like construction costs to get to 50. It's like a couple hundred K if that. So if you saw my previous video making like cannonballs and farming flesh crawlers, you can make a couple hundred K in a day. You can get 50 construction in like an hour and you can make this house, and then you can set up all your portals. Um, you do need to have the requirements to actually cast the teleports to build these portals, so you'll have to train some magic, but you can do that on flesh crawlers as well. Get to like, I don't know, 50-something 50, 50 
whatever magic so you can teleport everywhere and then just build your portals and you're good to go dude but yeah i highly recommend basing this off of what you're doing so if you're skilling if you're running around if you're doing slayer like figure out where you're using the most teleports and make that your portals for me it was basically catacombs of Karend, grand exchange um and canifis which is the carol portal and then the uh, battlefront portal to get back to konar like these are my most used I have a Camelot and I have a Lunar Isle portal, but I barely ever use this and I use this very rarely to get to the agility course, I think was the only reason I made that. I didn't want to leave empty spots, TLDR, but yeah. Hopefully that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments um, and uh, that'll be the mail.